Hi guys, good evening. Are you there? Hello people, are you there? Good evening. Hi, good evening, Roberto. All right, guys, it's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, apparently, oh, we got new faces in here. That is pretty good. Uh, welcome back, guys, to this new module, right? Uh, this one in comparison to the other ones that you have had, we're just going to be uh, working just for uh, one hour, right? So we got to get... Uh, you know, like a little bit fast on uh, the topic explanations in order to, you know, like do a couple of activities uh, throughout the uh, one hour time that we got. So welcome uh, for the ones who are just getting connected. Let me see, you just got Jenny, Roberto, Mauricio. All right, so more of you. Good night, teacher. Hi, Selena, good evening. How is everything? Um, tengo una pregunta. Ajá, tell me. Ayer, ayer hubo clase. Eh, no, Selena, this is class one. Hubo clases It's... ayer, le pregunto. Ah, uh, no, this is class one. We start, uh, we uh... start today. Yeah. So no problem. You're on class one. Es que, es que me, habían, me habían llamado diciendo que el día, el día de ayer habían empezado, pero ah. no, me, no me habían mandado ningún link ni nada. Yeah, yeah. No, es que estaba programada para ayer, pero uh, eh, finalmente ahora se va a comenzar. All right, so, así que no se preocupe. All right. That we are basically starting okay. with this class. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and pass the attendance list. Me alegro tenerlo ustedes, teacher. Okay, good to hear from you again. Good to hear from you, right? And you're not the only one. I guess I got more here. I got Shu and I got uh, Isabel and uh, some other people. The rest, ah, and Sonia, I think. And the rest is just new people. That's good. That's good. Right, so I'm gonna go and pass the attendance list and then we're going to continue with this, guys. Uh, let me see. Alfredo Enrique. Alfredo Enrique Cornejo, let me see. All right, so he's not here. Ana Maria Rivas. Present teacher. Okay, very good. So just give me one second, guys. I need to move on on this things. Oh. Okay, uh, Brenda Angelica. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Karen Beatriz. Karen Beatriz. All right, so apparently she's not here. Uh, Selena Janet. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Clara Marina. Present teacher. Okay, yeah. excellent. Cristian Eduardo. Cristian Eduardo Rodriguez. Is Cristian here? All right, so he's not here yet. David Alberto Martinez. 
David Alberto Martinez. All right, so he's not here. David Armando Romero. Okay, so he's not here. Denis Gerardo. Okay, not even him. Diego Rodolfo. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Erika Michelle Escamilla. Mm -mm, Erika, all right, so she's not here. Fatima Laura Mejia. Present. Okay, excellent. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez. Gabriela Margarita. No, right, so she's not here yet. Griselda Yamilet. Here. Okay, perfect. Guillermo Josué Osorio. Guillermo. All right, so he's not here. Jaime Vladimir Palacios. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Jenny Marisol Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Jocelyn Abigail Rodriguez. Present. Okay, perfect. Rafael Ernesto Lopez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Roberto Antonio Guzman. Present. Okay, perfect. Sonia Guadalupe. Present. Okay, perfect. Walter Manuel Reyes. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Janira Isabel. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. And uh, Judy Magdalena Villanueva. Uh, are you there, Yuri? Yes, that's just connected, but um, I guess just BC. All right, guys. So basically, uh, as I said, uh, for the ones who are just getting connected, welcome back to another uh, module. Um, let me introduce myself. My name is Juan Carlos, and I'm going to be your teacher throughout this module, right? Uh, as I said before, guys, um, this module has changed a little bit, apparently. This class is just going to last uh, one hour, right? And as in every beginning uh, of every module, I am just going to show you a little bit about the headlines and uh, obligations that we got to accomplish, right, throughout this module. And for the ones who don't, don't know me, I'm just going to show you a little bit about myself. Just give me one second, guys. I'm just going to open up this. All right, guys, uh, please just confirm if you can see uh, the presentation. Can you guys see the presentation? Yes, okay, perfect, thank you. Uh, this is just a little bit about myself, guys. As I said, uh, my name is Juan Carlos, right? Uh, you can call me Juan if you want, or just teacher, right? Uh, this is part of my academic formation that I got and my uh, you know, working experience, right? So this is just like a brief uh, introduction to myself, to you, especially for the ones who are new and we're gonna be working in here, right? Uh, this is just like a brief, right? Uh, background of myself. Now set this and set out this. Let's move out to the guidelines that I want you to, to know, all right? On this module that we're gonna have. Let's start with, uh, uh, vamos a comenzar, I'm gonna switch to Spanish guys because this is like, just now like 
cómo vamos a estar trabajando con las tareas y las evaluaciones, right? On this new uh, model. Eh, acá, básicamente es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones, eh, como en el tipo de modelo anterior que estaban, right? Para poder completar el curso de manera satisfactoria. Igual, las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma. No sé si a todos tienen acceso a ella o les han asignado el, el módulo, right? Si no, ok, perfect. Si no, me lo hacen saber para eh, pasar ese dato y se les puede activar el módulo eh, lo más pronto posible, right? Eh, igual, de mismo modo, las tareas están en la plataforma y pues se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase, right Como eh, en el pasado se ha hecho. Y acá en este, en este sistema igual pueden adelantar el contenido, right ¿Qué significa eso? Que si ustedes eh, pues tienen el espacio y desean avanzar con relación a las tareas, eh, con los temas que aún no se han cubierto y le comprenden, pues pueden avanzar sin ningún inconveniente, right otro aspecto dice todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes. Bueno, en este sentido, right, vamos a dejarlo acá porque eh, todavía eh, no tenía la, la fecha exacta de, de cuándo era, right, El, la finalización de cada semana. Así que recuerden esto, al finalizar las cinco clases de la semana, right, eh, las tareas ya tienen que estar hechas de la 1 a la 5, right, en la plataforma. ¿Por qué? Porque este, pues, eh, estas notas igual son registradas y enviadas, right? Y el material de apoyo, pues, dice, será compartido a criterio del profesor en formato digital. Bueno, básicamente el pequeño manual con el que vamos a estar trabajando y va a ser en base a unos videos también, ya les voy a explicar un poco sobre lo, lo de la plataforma, eh, lo tenemos ahí en la plataforma, all right? Ya después de esto les voy a mostrar eh, cómo hacerlo, ¿ok? Bueno, en cuanto al desarrollo de las secciones, en la plataforma ustedes van a encontrar que tenemos cinco secciones, ¿right? De la sección 1 hasta la 5. La semana 1 vamos a cubrir la sección 1 y 2. Con relación a la semana 2 vamos a eh, completar la sección 3 y vamos a elaborar el midterm que tenemos ahí, tenemos un examen de medio curso, right En la semana 3, la sección 4, y la semana 4 será la sección 5 y el final exam que por lo general siempre eh, hacemos, right At the end of the module. So, básicamente es como está estructurado, right eh, Las secciones, las cuales vamos a estar trabajando en estas cuatro semanas, right Y bueno... Con relación a las políticas de la asistencia, como ustedes saben, eh, necesitan como un mínimo del 80% right, de asistencia a las clases para poder avanzar al siguiente módulo. Right? Mm -hmm. Avance y desarrollo, dice la plataforma de aprendizaje, pues, bueno, cada a diario, por así decirlo, se va a estar monitoreando de que podamos eh, estar al día con las tareas, right? Estar puntuales con relación al inicio de la clase, puesto que solamente son 60 minutos y pues tenemos que aprovecharlos, right eh, Bueno, eso va a cumplir con los, el horario establecido. Eh, tener la cámara, la cámara encendida durante toda la sesión si es posible, right Y pues como sabemos, la clase va a durar 60 minutos. Luego es de trabajar ejercicios en la plataforma, uh, you know, Like, las clases con relación a la clase, right? Y pues al final pues se va a obtener el diploma, right? From this uh, module. Entonces como lo más eh, relevante con relación a, a los lineamientos del módulo, cosa que pues ustedes ya eh, saben más o menos eh, con relación a los módulos anteriores, right? Así que creo que no tenemos inconvenientes con relación a esto. Antes de avanzar, no sé si hay alguna pregunta. I don't know, guys, if you have any question related to this. Teacher, ¿cuatro semanas o cinco? No, serán cuatro semanas. Cuatro semanas, Salim. 
right? Las secciones son cinco, pero las eh, serán cuatro semanas clase. Ok. Eh, teacher. Yes. Solamente una consulta. Eh, a la hora que pasó la asistencia, todavía no me había logrado conectar porque aún estoy en el trabajo. Uh -huh. No sé si... Ah, ok, no se preocupe. <ríe> ok, no hay problema. Ya la voy a colocar en la asistencia, ok? No hay problema con that. All right. Uh, Judy? Eh, eh, igual Mich que Michelle, bueno, yo ya me había conectado, pero me sacó el Zoom. Me volví a conectar, pero ya no escuché cuando me habló. Ah, ok, no hay problema. Ya la, la voy a incluir ahí en la asistencia, ok? No se preocupe. All right. Gracias. Ok, perfect. Bueno, I think this is like the most relevant, guys. Y pues acá algunas de las normas de convivencia. El botón de silencio. Recuerden que a veces cuando estamos explicando un tema o algo por el estilo, pues eh, es prefer preferible tener el, el micrófono apagado porque a veces surgen cositas que estamos en alguna conversación ahí en casa, pues que no deberíamos escuchar. Entonces, para evitar momentos un tanto incómodos, right? Tratar de mantener el micrófono apagado a menos que estemos comentando algo. All right. Ahí como consejo. Uh, all right. Eh, luego, con relación al nombre completo, recuerden al conectarse eh, a la clase, es eh, requerido el nombre completo según su DUI. Right. Mantener la cámara encendida. Y pues la participación activa. Right. That's something that you really like to do, guys, with the groups. Right. And uh, the activities that we're going to be working on. Y luego, pues, cualquier consulta que tengan, pues, uh, puede ser a través del chat o simplemente, pues, levantando la mano, right O simplemente, eh, si algo no va quedando claro con relación a los temas, encienda su micrófono y puede preguntarme, right o, o decirme, mire, teacher, esta parte no la entiendo, podría, por favor, explicarlo de nuevo, right Y con gusto lo voy a hacer. La idea es que acá nos vayamos con cero... Eh, digamos, dudas con relación a los temas, right? That's like, like the most relevant in here, guys. Entonces, como lo más relevante que podemos eh, tomar de acá, okay? So, I'm going to stop sharing this, guys, and let's go straight to the platform, right? To the topics that we're going to be uh, just working on. Entonces, eh, como una pequeña como un pequeño tour con relación a la plataforma, people. So, it's basically this one, ¿ok? Como les comentaba, tenemos cinco secciones acá. We got five sections over here. Uh, section one and section two is going to be covered in one week. Y acá, la primera eh, unidad, por así decirlo, sección es how often do you do uh, exercise or how often you exercise. Con relación acá, we're going to see a couple of videos. And here are the videos, guys, eh, que tenemos acá. And here we got the lesson objective, right? As it says, in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. So basically here, what you got is, this is like an uh, extra material for you. Vamos a tener esto como un material extra para ustedes, right? in which uh, we've got a short conversation in here talking about activities that we generally do, all right? And on the next video that we got here, tenemos el tema central, que en este caso es el que vamos a ver esta noche, adverbs of frequency, o bien llamados frequency adverbs, right? So this is just like an extra material that you guys are going to have in here, right? just for you to, uh, you know, like handle with this, like with the pronunciation, question formation and all that. And in here, in here, where it says knowledge check over here, this is the homework, okay? That you are going to uh, be doing at the end of every class. Entonces, en cada knowledge check es básicamente cada tarea que ustedes van a tener, okay? This is just like, like the knowledge check that you guys are going to do at the end of every class, okay? Entonces, básicamente, cómo funciona like cada, cada uno de los apartados que tenemos acá, en cada sección. 
Eh, con relación al manual, lo pueden encontrar en esta parte acá, Students Manual. All right, and you got it in here. Right, and you can get it in here. You can even download it in here. No, just give me one second, it's loading. Pero acá igual lo podemos, you know, like, descargar, right? If you want to have it in there. Okay, so this is like just like the most relevant that we got here, right, in, in the platform, okay? So this is like, like, you know, like the most relevant, right? Okay, great. So I am going to stop in here, guys, because I would like to show you part of the topic that we are going to be discussing tonight. Just give me one second. Since I don't have that much time uh, to show you the topic that we are going to, you know, like be discussing, I just prepared a short presentation talking a little bit about the topic, just for you to understand how frequency words work or frequency adverbs works, all right? So basically, this is the topic number one that we're going to be discussing tonight. As I told you before, guys, if you have questions throughout my explanation, please ask, okay? So tonight's topic is going to be uh, frequency adverbs, right? So let's start over with this. Frequency adverbs. For you guys, what is a frequency adverb? Do you have any idea about what frequency adverbs are? I think you got an idea because in the previous modules, uh, you, you saw part of this or you started part of this. What is a frequency adverb? Has anybody had an idea um, about what is that? Yuri? Always. Ah, okay. All right. You got that Too one. Surely. Okay, you usually very good. And in what situation, guys, uh, can I use those frequency adverbs? In what situations can I use them? Any idea? Working. I work. Mm, okay, all right. But uh, what I'm asking is like, in what situations? Should I use frequency adverbs? I'm gonna go straight to some in people. The routine. Ah, uh, when we talk about routines, okay, very good. When we talk sometimes, sometimes about routines, right? All right. In here, guys, I got a short definition, or in what situations we can use them. It says, uh, Clara, can you help me out reading that short definition, please? Clara Marina. Frequency adverbs are words that show how frequent we do an activity. All right, thank you. How frequent we do an activity, right? So in here, guys, as the word says, frequency adverbs, they basically show you, right, how frequently you do an activity if that activity you do it all the time or not all the time, right? Or in this case, how often you do it. For example, take a look at this one. Rafael, help me read in this one. For example, mm -hmm. I always play soccer. Okay, there you go. As he says, I always play soccer. So in this case, I'm telling that I do most of the time, this activity, right? I am showing that I do 100% this activity, right? So in these situations, we can use right. frequency adverse, right? Good. Now let's move on to the next uh, example. Roberto Guzman, can you please help me on reading? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. You never do exercise. Okay, good. What am I showing in this example, guys? 
Oh, you never do exercise. Basically, I'm telling you, right, that you don't do, you got a 0% on doing this activity, right? Aquí indicamos que no hacemos esta actividad, right? Good. Now, let's, got another example here. Let me see. Guillermo Josué, can you please help me out reading this example? Uh, Guillermo, are you there? Yes. Uh, I always play soccer. Uh, the example number oh. three. Three. Yeah, number three. She, she sometimes goes jogging. Okay, in this case, she sometimes go jogging. Repeat. She sometimes you go jogging. Go jogging. All right. Go jogging. Okay, very good. Thank you, Guillermo. Do you know, guys, what is go jogging? Do you know what is that? ¿Alguien sabe qué significa, like, the expression go jogging? No. no. Salir a correr. Eh, in this situation, eh, eh, no es yoga, right? Es salir a trotar, basically, right? Ir a trotar. Trotar. Trotar, yeah. Porque salir a correr es go running, right? That's a little bit different. All right. So just keep that in mind, guys. Okay, good. Uh, if you guys want, I can send you this presentation to the group, to the WhatsApp group. So in that case, we can move on, okay? I'm going to send this presentation to the WhatsApp group. So that way we are going to move on on this. All right, let's move on. Now, it says frequency adverbs. The most common frequency adverbs are, in here, guys, uh, I bring to you the most common frequency adverbs that we generally use when talking about activities. So you got always, right? Always. What does always mean? What is always? Siempre. Okay, Siempre. very good. Perfect. Almost always, is it up? Almost always. What is that, guys? What do you think is almost? Casi siempre. Casi siempre. Okay, very good. Then we got generally. Listen up. Generally. Usually. All right. Okay, we got. Frequently, okay, usually is included also. Frequently, right? You know, like frequently means like frecuentemente. Often, right? We got often. Often means like a menudo, right? That's what often means. Sometimes, right? Sometimes. Sometimes on a top from a hundred percent to a zero percent, sometimes it's like fifty percent, right? A veces. Seldom, right? What is seldom, guys? Yeah. Ha have you heard this word before? What is seldom? Rara mm, vez. Oh, all right. Pocas veces, right? Pocas veces. Hardly ever. <sighs> Hardly ever comes like a little bit like seldom. In this case, like casi nunca, raras veces, right? That's seldom. I mean, hardly ever. And then you got rarely. Okay? Hardly ever and rarely basicamente significan lo mismo, right? It's basically the same thing. And then you got at the end, never, which mean a 0%, right? On doing that activity. So basically, these are like the most common, you know, frequency words that we use to create sentences, all right? Okay, now, 
you might wonder, what is the position of a frequency word in a sentence? Now we're gonna take a look at the position that we set frequency words in sentences. Check this one out. So this, the position basically comes to a structure and the structure generally goes like the subject, right? Remember that the subject can be a pronoun like I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, whatever uh, pronoun you want, or a proper noun, right? It might be Dennis, uh, that's a subject, right? And then you got the frequency adverb, right? And after the frequency adverb, you set the verb, the one that indicates the action, and then a short complement. What is the complement for? just to make the sentence more specific. For example, check this one out. Dennis, help me out reading this example. They always play basketball. Okay, very good, thank you. They always play basketball. So basically, if you see the position of uh, the frequency adverb goes between the subject and the verb. Okay, that's the position. It's in the middle of the subject and the verb. All right, so we got another example in here. Let me see. Uh, Sonia Guadalupe, can you please help me read in the second example? She never goes wrong. Okay, thank you. She never goes running, right? Okay, perfect. Thank you. Then we got this one. Fatima Laura, can you please help me out reading the next exercise? I mean, example. I hardly ever watch TV. Okay, very good. I hardly ever watched TV. Okay, there you go. So we got here just a couple of examples just for you guys to have an idea how it works. Now guys, can you give me an example or can you write down an example talking about how frequently you do an activity related to, you know, like an activity that you do every day or almost every day? Can you give me an example? You can use any frequency adverb that comes to your mind, right? The idea is for you to give me an example. When you finish writing down the example, let me know, please. If you got one, turn on your microphone and read it for me, please. Like in this case, I can say, listen up, my example. I always, listen up, I always, go to work that is one activity that i do like most of the time right good can you guys give me one example i always get up early okay perfect thank you rafael rafael we're gonna make this more uh you know like more didactic okay can you point out one of your classmates to give me an example Mention one of your classmates, and the one that you mention, he or she is going to give me the uh, the example. Rafael, can you mention one of your classmates to continue with the examples? Okay, this is the class. They always play basketball. Rafael, Rafael, uh, le mencionaba que me, me dio un nombre de sus compañeros para que continúen con los ejemplos que han, me han hecho así como usted lo hizo, ¿ok? okay? Palacio. Jaime Palacio. Ah, ok. Yes, teacher. Okay, Jaime. Give me your example. 
read uh, um, one, your, two, three. Your read. example. So let us. Uh, can you repeat again? Repeat, please. Uh, can you give me your example, please? I, I, un ejemplo que lo haga yo, teacher. Yes, yes. I seldom, I seldom uh, play soccer. Okay, perfect. I seldom play soccer. Very good. Very good. Let me see who else. Thank you, Jaime, by the way. Jocelyn. Can you give me an example about any activity that you regularly do? Um, I sometimes take a nap. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Jenny Marisol? I never drink coffee. Okay, good. Really? You never drink coffee? Okay, that's it. Yeah. Okay. All right, Dennis. Give me an example, Dennis. Yeah. I always listen music. Okay, I always listen uh, to music. To music. Hey, teacher. Yes. Teacher, yo tenía mis dudas. Si listen, lo iba a poner en verbo. ¿Cuál es el pasado? <laughs> el que se le agrega ING. Ah, you mean in a German form? No. No. No, en ese sentido no. Right? On that, uh, you're going to use an infinity. Listen to, right? It goes in a, in a normal verb, right? Ahí no puede ir un gerundio. Right, Dennis? Ok, eh, bueno, la, la, okay. la cuestión fue porque en el Ajá. segundo ejemplo veo que está en infinitivo así de ING, por ejemplo. No, in this case is when we got uh, more verbs, like for example, uh, I like listening to music, it goes that way. Listening comes in a general form. But in this case, it doesn't have to be in a general form that one because listen is the main verb. And in that case, has to be in a base form. Tiene que ir en forma base. Listen, in este caso. Menos que vaya acompañado de otro verbo. Right? Que vaya precedido de un gerundio. But in este caso, no puede, no puede ir así. Okay? In a general form, tiene que ir en, en forma base. It, got, it has to be in a base form, the verb. Okay? You got to okay, follow up. Okay, thank you. Person. Okay, good. Clara, can you give an example about what you do? I never uh, eat bread. Bread. Okay, I never eat bread. Thank you. Jaime Vladimir. Ah, no, you did it, right? It's because you got a, the camera off. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Mason. It's because you got the camera off. Okay, uh, Isabel. Give me an example, Isabel. He walk. Um, he always walk alone. He always walk. De caminar. Ah, walk. Okay. All right. Thank you, Thank you Isabel. Very good. Uh, Griselda? Are you there, Griselda? Sí. Okay, can Una you give me an I hardly ever go to the church. Okay, all right. Very good, thank you. Uh, Sonia? Yes. Can you give me an example I about 
I always watch TV in the afternoon. Okay, thank you. Roberto Guzman. Thank you. Okay. Roberto? I never I never play soccer. Okay, very good. I never play soccer. Thank you. Uh Walter Reyes. I often exercise at night. I often exercise at night. Okay, very good. Diego Ruano, can you give me an example? Okay. And I almost ever going to the gym. I almost never. Ever. Almost ever. What do you mean by that, Diego? And for example, uh, I mean, uh, oh, you, with all oh, day, you, all day, I going to to exercise. Almost all all day or every day. Okay. In yeah, that case, or every day. All right. Yeah, because yeah. in that case, it would be like almost always in that case. Because I almost ever it, it comes. Oh, okay. To, it would be like hardly ever, but hardly ever in this situation is like casi pocas veces or casi nunca, right? So in this situation, maybe your example would be like almost always, because you mean that it's like basically every okay, day. Okay, it's more appropriate. Okay, it's more appropriate. Uh, almost always. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Almost okay. always. Okay, okay. Thank you. I got repeat. it. Okay. Repeat it again, please. And like that, uh, I. Almost always, I, I, excuse me, I almost always going to the gym. I almost always go, right, to the gym. Okay, okay. Yeah, because I heard going, right? Me pareció escuchar going. But in this case, remember, the breath has to be in base form. Go to the gym. Okay. In this Always in base form. Uh, go, in this case. I almost always go to the gym. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you to you. Uh, Erika Michel, can you give me an example? Uh, Erika, are you there? Uh, uh, okay, all right, no problem. Okay, keep the yeah. teacher. Okay. All, right. all right, no problem, no problem. Uh, Karen Castillo. Um, I never. Uh, goes out for a walk. I never go out for a walk, right? For what? See, yeah. Okay, all right. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Brenda. Brenda Diaz, you there? Mm, I think she's not there. Ana Maria, are you there? I almost always cook dinner. Mm, okay, I almost always cook the dinner. Okay, perfect. And I know there are many more guys, but in this case, I want to show you how to create question using these uh, frequency adverbs in this situation. So we're going to move on with this, okay? Let's remember, if you have questions, raise your hand or turn on your microphone and you can ask, please, okay? So, check this out. 
questions using how often. In this case, if you if you guys want to know how frequently you do an activity, this is like the perfect question formation that you can ask, right? Questions with how often. Keep in mind that how often means like que tan a menudo, right? So the structure is this one. This is like the most common structure that you generally use, guys, to create questions using this one, right? How often plus do or does. Remember, do if it is plural or first person, does if it is singular or third person, right? Plus the subject, plus the verb in this case, who chose the action, and the complement. For example, all right, so we got this one. Check this one out. Uh, let me see. Who can help me out on this? Fatima, can you please help me out reading this question? How often do you go swimming? Okay, thank you. It says, how often do you go swimming? Okay, so in here, I am basically asking how frequently, all right, this person I'm asking does an activity, right? So, in this case, we can answer this way. Check out to the answer, guys. All right, uh, Jenny Marisol, can you please help me out reading the answer? Jenny? Are you there, Jenny? Uh, no, sorry, no. <laughs> uh, can you help me reading the answer, please? Uh, I often go swim. okay, swimming. Okay, Swimming, swimming. All right, thank you. I often go swimming. So in this case, guys, remember, uh, in here we can mention the frequency in which we can do an activity, right? Okay, so we got another question in here. Let me see if you can help me out on here. Okay, Jaime, help me reading, please. How often does she do yoga? Okay, perfect. How often does she do yoga? So in here, guys, we got does because we got a singular subject, right? Remember that we got does because we are using a singular subject. Basically, we are using a third person question, okay? Good, so we got the answer in here. Let me see who, Clara Marina. Help me out reading the answer, please. She almost all, always does yoga. Okay, she almost always does yoga. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Clara. All right, this is like to mention how frequently, guys, we do an activity. But also, if you want to ask a yes, no question, just to know the frequency, if you do or not an activity, you can ask like this. Check this out. Diego, can you please help me out reading this one? Uh, do you ever dance in a party? Okay, very good. Do you ever dance in a party? What are you asking in this case? Or how do you guys interpret this question? ¿Cómo interpretan esta pregunta? Do you ever dance in a party? This is a just no answer, right? This is just for a just no answer, remember. What do you think you're asking in there? ¿Qué creen que estamos preguntando ahí? Do you ¿Que si alguna vez ha bailado en una fiesta? Okay. O por lo general, si alguna vez baila, right? En alguna fiesta. All right, when you go dancing in this case. Very good. So in this case, you got two forms or two ways to answer. Check this out. 
check this out. You got two ways of answering. If it is positive, if the answer is positive, you can say, yes, I often dance in a party. Yes, I always dance in a party. Yes, I sometimes dance in a party. I mean, you can use any frequency word or adverb in this case, right? In a positive statement. But what happened in a negative statement? Ya en una oración negativa, I mean, in the answer, aquí solo podemos usar never. Because never, guys, remember, it's a negative word, right? That means a 0% on something. Just keep that in mind, guys. No, I never dance in a party. And you got a negative answer, okay? Remember, if you want to answer in a negative form, only use never. All right? Just keep that in mind. Okay, perfect. Uh, until here, guys, I don't know if you have any question. Do you guys have any question with this? Tenemos preguntas hasta acá. Something that might not be clear on this. Okay. I guess todo está okay, claro. Clear, Tisha. Okay, perfect. Todo claro como el background de esas cámaras apagadas, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, guys. Let's continue. Let's continue. And this is going to be the last part that we're going to be working on. Uh, it says other frequency words. You might find some other frequency words that you can use, guys, que meramente no son frequency adverbs, pero son expresiones, right? They are expressions that we generally use to mention how frequently we do an activity. For example, every day, that is one frequency expression in this case, so frequency word, every day. Uh, I think everybody knows what is every day, right? Todos los días. You got once a day. Keep this in mind. Once a day, once a week once a month, once a year. Once is equal to one time. So once a day means una vez al día, right? Once a week, you know what is that? Una vez a la semana, once a month, una vez al mes, and so on, right? All right, then you got twice, twice a day. Rafael, what is twice a day? Ajá. ¿Qué cree que significa? Twice a day is equal to two times. So in this case means dos veces, Rafael, okay? Two times. Twice a day, dos veces al día. Twice a week, dos veces a la semana twice a month, dos veces al mes, and so on, okay? And then we have, all right, and then we have, for example, three times a day, three times a week, three times a month, and three times a year, right? Depending on the frequency that you do an activity. Keep in mind that these expressions go at the end of a sentence. Solo como un pequeño recordatorio. Estas, horas, estas expresiones, these expressions that you got here, guys, they always, or most of the time, goes at the end of, of, of the sentence, okay? Mm -hmm. Así siempre van al final de la oración. Nunca en la posición de un frequency adverb, como hemos visto anteriormente, okay? Always, it's set, these expressions are set at the end of a sentence. For example, all right, check this one out. Uh, Griselda, help me read in this example, please. Uh, Griselda, are you there? One, two, three. Uh, the first example. 
I teach. I teach English every day. Okay, very good. So you see, the expression, thank you, Griselda, by the way, the expression goes at the end of the sentence, okay? And we got the next example. Uh, Roberto, help me reading, please. You play the guitar once a week. Once a week, okay, perfect. Here you go, guys. So basically, uh, this is the way how we use frequency words and frequency adverbs, okay? Very good. Now, guys, in this uh, couple of minutes that are missing, okay, in this couple of minutes that are missing, can you guys write down one question example using how often? ¿Podrían escribirme un ejemplo usando how often? Oh, do you ever, please? One of one of each. You can use one of okay. one of those. One example. Only the question. Only the How question. Do you fish? How often do you fish? Uh, in someone? this case, in this case, it will be Rafael. How often do you go fishing? Yeah, I'm going to write it down for you here. Check this out. It might be this way, maybe like this. Check this out. How often do you go fishing? Like this. Okay? It will be like this. Remember that how often, after how often, you have to set the auxiliary verb, then the subject, then the verb, and then the complement. Let me see. I'm going to read them to you here. You see. How often do you practice English? Okay. Thank you, Diego. Don't forget the question mark, Diego. Okay, but thank you. That's a good question. Uh... Roberto says, how often do you drink coffee? Okay. How often do you listen to music? Thank you, Dennis. Let me see Roberto again. How often do you drink coffee? I mean, that's the same. How often do you watch TV? Thank you, Fatima. All right. Para los que vayan terminando o ya la tengan, pueden encender su micrófono y leerlo, okay? No problem. I'm going to listen to you. I just want to know, guys, if you uh, understood the structure. How often do you play soccer? How often do you sleep? Okay. How often do you cook? Okay. Thank you, Clara. Very good. How often do you cook? Excellent. How, how often do you sleep? Okay, how often do you sleep? All right. Thank you, Selena. How, how often, often do, you... do you visit your mother? Okay, how often do you visit your mother? Thank you, Walter. Janira. How often do you go to the beach? Okay, perfect. Thank you. How often do you play soccer? Okay, perfect. Thank you, Sonia. Did you ever work? How often do you take a nap? Okay, very good. Thank you, Jaime. Excellent. How often do you go to the cave? To the beach. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jocelyn. How often do you dance? Okay, Karen, thank you. Somebody else? How do you video game? Okay, thank you, uh, Dennis. Judy? Do you ever go on the weekend? Do you ever work on weekends? Okay. All right. Thank you. Very good. Somebody else that might uh, read the question? 
Okay. I guess most of you did it. If you don't did it, if you don't do, uh, if you didn't do it, you wrote it in here. Okay. Perfect. Missing. Okay. Excellent, guys. So I'm going to stop sharing uh, this short presentation, guys. And before finishing with the class, I don't know, guys, if you have any question before we go. Antes de retirarnos, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta. No questions? Okay. Very good. So basically... No. Eh, sí, la presentación la voy a, la voy a mandar al, al grupo para que la tengan. All right? Just in case you want to check it. Selena? Teacher, yo no estoy en, en ningún grupo y tengo dudas con las tareas. Ah, ok. Eh, le voy a mandar un mensaje, Selena, para, que, para mandarle el link y se pueda unir al grupo. Ok. Y con relación a las tareas, give me one second, before we go, just before we go, ok? Give me one second, guys. Solo antes de irnos. Selina, para los que no se habían conectado y para usted, básicamente las tareas están en cada una de las secciones acá. En la sección 1 es básicamente la que estamos trabajando y lo que usted va a desarrollar acá en las secciones, just give me one second, guys, this is loading, es, ok, you can watch the videos in here, esto es como un material de apoyo que ustedes van a tener, los videos, con relación a los temas que vamos a estar discutiendo, yo les voy a ayudar con la parte gramatical, in here we're going to be uh, doing, you know, like the extra material, y este es el knowledge check, esta es como la tarea que va a estar desarrollando, es el mismo. ¿Ok? Cada no le check. Va a ser una tarea. Y, y todo eso es de la clase que hemos visto hoy, ahorita. Correcto. Si se fija acá, tenemos What do you do after class? Bastante. Y acá en paréntesis le aparece usual. <risa> right. Entonces acá usted va a seleccionar ya con usually incluido cuál es la mejor forma de que van a preguntar. All right. That's what you gotta okay. do. You gotta fill up those ones y al final darle enviar. Ok. Es básicamente de lo que hemos estado sí, sí. hablando en la clase. Ok. Perfect. No, no. We go, guys. Ok. Lo you. mismo, pero con más preguntas, Tisha. Exacto. <laughs> con más preguntas. That's, that's, that's true. All right. I'm gonna go and pass the attendance list one um, more time. Gracias, Tisha. Ok. And uh, we're gonna finish the class on here. Ok. Solo déjenme empezar la asistencia. All right, one more time. For well, ones who didn't show up here. Uh, die, Alfredo Enrique. Alfredo Enrique. Is Alfredo here? All right, so he's not here. Ana María Rivas. Present. Okay, very good. Brenda Angélica Díaz. No. Present teacher. Ok, perfect. Karen Beatriz Castillo. Present. Ok, excellent. Selina Janet Arevalo. Present teacher. Ok, Clara Marina Present. Sánchez. Ok. Present. Ok, perfect. Cristian Eduardo Rodríguez. Cristian. All right, so apparently it's not here. Uh, David Alberto Martinez. Oh, okay. Uh, Armando Romero. David Armando Romero. Estoy trabajando también. Okay, okay. Denis Gerardo. Present. Ok, muy bien. Diego Rodolfo Ruano. Present, teacher. Ok, perfect. Erika Michelle Escamilla. Present. 
is Erika here? Mm, all right, so apparently not. Fatima Laura Mejia? Present. Okay, excellent. Gabriela Margarita Vasquez? Mm, all right, so apparently she's not here. Griselda Jamilet Velasquez? Here. Okay, very good. Guillermo Josué Osorio. Okay, Jaime Vladimir Palacios. Present. Okay, excellent. Jenny Marisol Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Okay, perfect. Jocelyn Abigail Rodriguez. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Rafael Ernesto López. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Roberto Antonio Guzmán. Present. Okay, good. Sonia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Walter Manuel Reyes. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Yanira Isabel Fuentes. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. And the last one, Judy Magdalena Villanueva. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. It was a pleasure to have you guys here in the first video conference from this module. Let's wait for you tomorrow, all right, to continue with the topic developments. I hope you have a wonderful night, guys. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Bye, bye, bye. bye. See you. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.